Okay, press one in the chat if we're live. Because I don't know, the hotel Wi Fi is probably the worst I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Good 4G in Japan, but the, the Wi Fi shit and the. <laughs> it's a complete dead zone in the hotel with 4G, so it's gay. But, what's up, guys? How you doing? Let me know if this shit works uh, a little bit better here. I just kind of switched the, the Wi-Fi a little bit. So hopefully it's good. Um, I'm in the fucking uh, the closet right now, if you couldn't tell, because why not, dude? I'm not going to stream where the, uh, the hotel room is. Obviously, that's not a good idea for me. But I didn't really want to go sit somewhere, so... Fucking, uh, what's going on? So, I guess I just have to start with this. What do y'all think about Japan so far? Why am I sure at the hotel? Because I'm fucking lazy and, uh, I don't really want to stream until night because I've been getting really, really fucking tired at night, so I want to save my energy until the sun goes down and we can experience the nightlife together. But, uh, obviously it's not going to be the most you know, the best time zone for everybody, but I mean, fuck it, dude, I want to do it, so, well, you know, it's good for the, uh, for Europe, but not really good for America, and Europe will be like 10 o'clock in the morning, so if you wake up at 10 a.m., that's good for you, uh, for America, it'll be like 5 a.m., so rip motherfucking America, dude, honestly, but, you know, it is what it is, whatever, um, Voldasad and Lucha are out streaming right now. They uh, went to go get some, like, shoes. Voldasad hasn't been wearing shoes at all since he's been here. He forgot to bring shoes. He only has sandals. So his feet are, like, black and disgusting right now. So uh, he's he's trying to go buy shoes. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. That's really good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing today. Right now we're just, like, I'm just talking a little bit, chilling, just, like, updating you guys about um, stuff, and then later tonight, I don't know when we're gonna go live, I, I guess like 8 o'clock is probably good, 8 p.m. in Japan is probably good, that's like the, when the sun's down, that's like, it's Friday night, that's when like, people I'm assuming are gonna start going out and stuff, I'm gonna go to the red light district of Japan, red light district, <laughs> in uh, Shinjuku, so that's where all like the, you know, like the bars, and like the titty stuff, and prostitutes, and Fucking like, I don't just this is where like people go for like nighttime stuff, so we're gonna go there when uh, you know, the time is right when the sun goes down, and then I'll probably stream for a good portion of the night. I mean, I don't really know when it would end, probably like I don't know, probably like 2 a.m. or something is when people start going back home, so that's probably a good time. I mean, I'm just gonna get fucking drunk with uh, Gray and Lucha and Kimberly, so. You know, we'll just have a good time, I guess. We'll see what's up. There's this one bar that uh, Corbin wanted to take us to, so we might go there. Um, the guy we met yesterday. So, um, he says it's some, like, crazy bar where, you know, they, they do, like, crazy shit. And the guy who owns it does, like, funny, crazy shit. I think Andy also recommended I go to this place, too. So, I'll probably head there as well. I don't know if it's in Shinjuku, but we might have to take a train somewhere else then if it's not. So, uh, take Kimberly to the Love Hotel. I mean, y'all can't. I can't stream that there. I'm not going to stream myself, like, having sex at a hotel, but uh, we can definitely go to one. Yeah, I mean, Japan's nice, but that's the only thing that's, the only thing that's bad with it is the time zones, dude. It's so bad, like, um, it's so late everywhere else in the world when I go live. It's, even if I go live at 8 a.m., it's still, like, 4, 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night everywhere else. It's, it's so late which I don't like. Um, can you stream a bullet train to Mount Fuji? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go to Mount Fuji and go, I'll take a train over there uh, when we go to it. And I want to go to Osaka, like all these like countryside, like more like, uh, you know, more traditional Japanese places. I want to go check those out. I think that'll be fun. Um, but, you know, we'll see obviously how it all works. I don't want to just stay in Tokyo the whole time. But no, I mean, I would, I would actually like, I would, I would live in Japan. Like this place is nice, but I wouldn't live in Japan as a streamer because my, my following and my, uh, you know, my, the viewers, you guys are not from Japan or Asia. Most of you, I'm assuming. So I small that who can Poseidon. How is a blowfish? Is a blowfish like the in SpongeBob? 
Had fun and treat your goblin ways to the fine people of Japan, homie CX in the chat. Thank you, homie. Blowfish is actually, it tastes like shit. I don't, I don't like it. It tastes like, uh, like a filet of fish from McDonald's. If you have, a, if you've ever had a filet of fish from McDonald's, you've had puffer fish. Except the filet of fish isn't potentially could cause you to die. So, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really like it. I guess it's a delicacy, and all delicacies don't really taste great, but they're, like, interesting to eat or something. I don't know, really know the definition of that. Like, caviar. I've never had caviar where people say it doesn't really taste that great, but it's just, like, fun to eat. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't think I'd move here because uh, the time zone difference is so fucked with the rest of the world. I'm kind of just alienating a good portion of uh, most people that watch... And I don't really want to do that, obviously, because if uh, it's too late everywhere, then that sucks. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I watch multiple different Americans in Japan. Well, then I guess I'm wrong. Can you give a shout out to my homie James? He just got a new job and I want to show him some love. He is a new viewer but watches all your streams. Hey, Thanks James. for the content, homie. What's up, dude? How you doing, James? Thank you uh, for watching. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much. Shout out to you and your new job. Don't get fired. Oh, man, it's very easy to get fired for a job. But, I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably... I mean, we can go to Mount Fuji, like, tomorrow, I guess. I don't know if we can climb it, because apparently it's out of season. But we can go to it, and we can try to, like, see what's going on around there. And that's, like, the countryside, too. So, like, like I said, it's, Mount Fuji is probably not very traditional Japanese stuff. But, uh, you know, because it's, I'm assuming, touristy. But I we can still go to it. We can take a bullet train over there. That'd be interesting. I don't know if we can stream bullet train because it's going so fast the internet might not be able to keep up we could try um but yeah i do want to go to the mountain and see it and, and try to go on top of it that would be pretty cool um which means uh probably if i drink tonight and get really drunk i won't be hungover as long as I drink plenty of water i'll be fine so i'm not too concerned about that for the most part why don't you do something from the list you made? Yeah, uh, we're going to, I want to do the go-kart stuff. I want to do the family stuff. We're going to do all this stuff. Like I said, we have plenty of time that we're here. Um, I just wanted to do all the like typical shit first. Like I want to experience Japan first before we go and do the more like uh, ridiculous activities, you know, like renting a family if that's possible or riding a go-kart in a Mario outfit. Like... I wanted to just walk around and just kind of like see the place and like talk to people and stuff. I think that was very exciting for me. So drifting as well. I want to do that. So uh, I just, I mean, we'd have to go in like a passenger seat or something, but do you have any Japan based fan that you know of? I don't, the only person I've met that actually lives here that's a viewer is Corbin, but he's in New Zealand. He's like from New Zealand. So he's not actually Japanese. So I've not met any Japanese uh, viewers, although maybe, you know, stream sniping in Japan is just hard because there's so many people and taking a train would be fucking annoying. But um, no, I don't think so. Cause I, they don't really Do you have any Japan English. based fan that you know of? They don't speak that much English here. So obviously, uh, why would they watch? You know what I mean? They watch all Japanese stuff. Did you see me fuck up Cassandra's discord today? No, I didn't. That was you. I know she's stupid for giving people power in her Discord that probably shouldn't have power, but, hey, I mean, that's her own fault at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, if she wants, if that's what she wants to do, then fuck it. I don't know why. Like, I would never give people moderator status that I have not already vetted to make sure they're a good moderator because that's how shit gets fucked up. But, uh, okay, actually, Katie, I thought you were already a mod in there. I don't know. I just Discord drama, I guess. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day. Um, fake market buying Hagover shit. You know, Foldishead went to a Nike store to buy shoes. He should have just went to one of those fake Asian stores and sell, like, fucking bullshit. He said there, there's no shoes in his size because he's an 11 or a 12. And, you know, Japanese people don't wear 11 and 12 shoes because they're all tiny, but... I don't know. I feel like there's some touristy stores that would have shoes that would fit him. Especially shit for like $20, like some fake Nike for 20 bucks, like somewhere there. I don't know, but this beard is also, uh, it looks so scuffed, dude. Like, I need to, I'm just going to shave this off. It looks so retarded. Like, they did a good job of cutting my hair, but they did not know how to make the beard, like, 
good. Like, they line this shit so bad. Like, Japanese people don't ask for lined beards, I'm assuming. They just shave fully. So, I think they were just confused on what they were doing. You got a pair of DCs. Oh, okay, well, I guess you got a pair of that stuff, of the, the fake shit then. Thoughts on DLive? Uh, DLive is just... I mean, fuck it, dude. It's just another site, dude. They pay people to stream on there. And then when people stop streaming on there, the site dies. That's how it works. Yeah, I don't know why Google's had traffic so bad. I mean, I guess the Wi-Fi boxes aren't that great. I have four of them. I guess you can buy four together. They're good. But one by themselves, I guess, aren't that great, I suppose. I really don't know. Yeah, that's my L beard, of course. Not no Kanye West beard, but I don't know. Hey, man, Japan treats you good. Love from Greece. What's going on, uh, Trifon? Thank you, dude. Hey, man, Japan treats you good love from Greece. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, Japan's uh, been really, really nice. I've, I've really been enjoying it, honestly, but much better than America, like I said, to be fucking honest with you. I don't like America after coming here. Like, like Europe sucks. Work. Like, so here's the list. It goes Japan, or it just goes Asia is good first, and then America, and then Europe. Europe is, like, not great. And I'm sure the Middle, the middle East is probably the worst region of the world uh because they have like uh probably no modern technology there in dubai they do in saudi arabia they do besides dubai and saudi arabia like pakistan probably doesn't have shit uh to do there um fucking i don't don't even know another middle eastern country like mongolia or something like they probably don't have shit to do there um africa is probably not a great region either South Africa, sure, but, like, North Africa, probably not. Yeah, it's been interesting, but there's no, when I stream, there's no, uh, like, there's no stream snipers, there's no anything, dude. It's it's been very interesting. It's been very, uh, different than anywhere else I've been, which is good and bad, for sure. It's good because, uh, I can just experience stuff in its raw form, and it's bad because uh, I do like meeting new people and, Seeing stream snipers and stuff, it is fun. Uh, let me see, y'all question marking me for what? I mean, I don't think there's much to do in the Middle East besides Dubai and Saudi Arabia. I guess Qatar is good, but some other like undeveloped countries are there for sure. Mongolia is an Asian country. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, you know what I mean, dude. That just shows that I don't know shit about the Middle East, dog, or the fucking world, to be honest. Egypt. You know, I've always wanted to go to Egypt to see the pyramids of uh, Ibiza, but I don't know if like going to Egypt is a good idea because isn't don't they like kidnap Americans there or something or like isn't ISIS based out of Egypt? Or something like that. Like, not based out of it, but they have... Don't... Doesn't ISIS, like... Aren't they in Egypt? And, like... I, like, I don't know. I just don't want to go much there better than America, man. Let me see. What did you say? Uh, England is so much better than America. Come on, man. Dude, England's cool, but, Bro, like... No. Terry Swine Festival in Chiyoda City. Tokyo from today until Sunday. Save this sheet down somewhere and find Jake's famous content corner. Hey, I'll go there. I'll, I'll go to a wine festival. It seems cool. Just get drunk there. At the, I don't know how far Chiyoda City is. I guess it just depends. But if it's uh, if it's not far, then I'm down to check it out. Yeah, the pyramids of uh, Ibiza, Ibiza, whatever. What I don't even know. Whatever it's called. Uh, I just don't want to be kidnapped when I go over there. But I do want to see the city of Ibiza. So, or uh, Giza. Yeah, Giza, not Ibiza. That's the fucking the place in Spain for sure. Going to Alaska wasn't a good idea, also, but you went. Yeah, but I thought Alaska wasn't going to be dangerous, so that's the difference. I feel like going to Egypt might be dangerous, but maybe not. Egypt is safe nowadays for the most part. Well, I mean, as long as they protect tourists, and I'll go there. Like, I don't mind. I just, like I said, like, even Dubai. Like, I want to go to Dubai, but, like, as a tourist who's, like, streaming, is that a really a good idea? Like... I feel like if I break one law on accident, they will arrest me and I have no rights or something. I don't know. I, cause I know they're very serious about their their way of life over there. Even Russia, dude. Russia could be sketchy. Like, I don't know. I, I, don't, like, if I, I don't know, dude. I just, I'm scared of the, of the outside world, you know? If it's not a first world country, I'm scared. 
Well, I guess Dubai is a first world country. If it's not a country that has American laws, I'm scared. I guess that's the best way to do it. The best way to say it. But, I don't know, maybe we'll see. My former coach is a nice girl. Yeah, she is a nice girl. I do, I do like her a lot. People were uh, being a little rude yesterday, but for the most part, uh, they were being nice, which is good to her. She's a little nervous, so. Let me see, do you plan to go to Fuji in Japan? Um, yeah, I'm going to Mount Fuji sometime this week. Maybe tomorrow. I don't really know. Um, it'll be fun for the most part. You know, if I did do a stream, I wonder, if I did a stream in some weird place where there's a war going on, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? Like, I don't even know. Like, if I went to Nigeria and did a fucking stream there and, like, joined the American troops and streamed them uh, while we go out on, like, a trip to go save fucking Nigerian guerrilla motherfuckers, like, like guerrilla warfare is what I'm saying. Uh, that would be interesting. Obviously. Thank you, Sevenfold. Appreciate it, homie. Russia's a second world country. So what's the definition of second world? First, yeah, first world is developed. Third world is they eat dirt. Second world is like in between developed and eating dirt. Hit up Money Kicks on Makes Viz on YouTube. His dad is a billionaire in Dubai. If you get him to show you around, you will be good. He has brought over famous people before like Floyd. Uh, well, I could try to hit him up, but I don't uh, know if that's going to be possible. But, I mean, if he has a, uh, a Twitter, then I can try for sure, which would be good. I guess a, a second world country is kind of like, uh, well, actually, I'll hit him on Twitter uh, right after the stream here. I guess a second world country is kind of like, uh, it's like they have rich people, but then they have, like, really, really, like, poor people as well at the same time or something. Well, they have that anywhere. I don't know. I don't know how the world works. I'm too scared to go to Mexico, so I won't. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I'm not a listen. I'm not a fucking vice journalist. I don't go to third world countries. Go to only. Vietnam looks good for content. Actually, Vietnam. <laughs> I would actually go to Vietnam. I feel. I feel. I think there's a safe country. Like there's, there's. Let me see. I would not go to Malaysia. I don't think Malaysia is safe. And I would not go to. Like I know. Asian Andy went to Thailand, so maybe I can go to Thailand, but I, right now in Asia, I think the only place I would avoid is Malaysia and the Philippines. I think those two places are not very safe, huh? Maybe Philippines is okay, but I know Malaysia is, like, not a good place to go at the moment. Because they have, like, uh, like, I don't know, really, they just, like, cut your hand off and shit. If you, like... If somebody says that you did something wrong, even if you didn't do anything wrong, they, they chop your shit off. So I don't want to even, I don't want to come out of Malaysia with a fucking missing arm. You know, that would be awesome. Did you see you removed to this new platform and talked shit about Brandon just after he got a TDD tattoo? Yikes. What is this? I can only assume. Mexico is second world. Potential to be first, but really bad in some places. I can't click that link on this app, unfortunately, but what was the video, homie? Was a, Greece is pretty sense. chill. You can island hop. Yeah, I, I mean, well, that's in Europe, though. Greece, I've never been to Greece, but I've been to Italy, and I feel like Greece is Illegal to be gay in most of Mideast, so you can't go. I feel like eat, Greece and Italy would be this very similar, and I, I don't know if... Uh, I didn't really like Italy at all. Illegal to be gay in most mid-east, so you can't go. Well, I'm not gay, so I think we're good uh, for the most part. If I was if I was gay, y'all would fucking know that I'm gay, you know what I mean? My haircut makes me look fucking weird, dude, a little bit. I have, like, a, like a fucking... A big... Like I have, like, a big fucking, like, side of my face. So I look fucking weird, I don't know. Let me see, do you get geography lessons from South Park? Yeah, I mean, dude, I don't go to, like, I don't know shit about the world. Like, motherfucking, when I, I've, the only thing I know about the world is what I've seen on TV and entertainment stuff, you know what I mean? I like, met you off stream in Scottsdale at the pizza shop. I lived in Tokyo for five years, screw the Fuji in the suicide oh, forest, right. it is normie and chimericalized. Ropongi and Shimoda is where it is at. Yo, I'll check out uh, Shimane. 
and Rapoji. That seems like, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take your word for it, homie, but I still want to go to Mount Fuji because, like, I mean, it's a fucking giant mountain. Why not? But uh, I'll take, I'll keep that in mind. Take your word for it. What was I going to say? Yeah, no, all, the only thing that I know about the world... Stay in Japan longer or go to Korea and hang with the XPC. I found you through their Pokemon streams. Go to the you-know-what forest. Uh, South Korea is a place I do want to go. Actually, I probably will go to South Korea while I'm here. Like, why, like might as well. Why not? It's like a fucking two-hour flight, I think, so... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so the only thing I know about the world is what I've seen on TV. That's why I come off as ignorant, ignorant sometimes, because, you know, if I watch South Park or Family Guy, like, I've seen, like, I've seen the depictions of the Middle East from Family Guy, dude, and, uh, well, it ain't looking too hot there, so, you know, I don't really want to go. I mean, I've seen Israel depictions from Family Guy as well. And, you know, the only thing I got out of that was if I go to Israel, I will lose all my money. So Bobby Lee says the Philippines have mud rivers, he Let me see. Uh, Bobby Lee says Philippines have mud rivers. Well, that actually seems kind of cool. Mud river, I'd like to see that. I know they, have, they probably have good nature, so. North Korea stream, honestly. I would, uh, I would love to be a journalist in, in North Korea. But I know how that would go, obviously. I'd be the next Otto Warmbier and fucking arrested and fucking tortured and shit and come back to America dead. Demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. I mean, I don't know if you could stream there, but I could definitely go check it out. Like, I'd be down to it. It is a very big touristy uh, part for sure. Which is... Uh, you know, something I've always been interested in. I've seen a lot of videos of, like, defectors and shit, so kind of interested in going to seeing the DMZ. I just would obviously have to be careful because I could stream some, like, North Korean soldier, but if I, like, cross the line, they're going to fucking kidnap me, dude. Yes, this is a desktop stream in Japan, indeed. Um, because if you follow me on Twitter, then you know why. I'm fucking doing this because later tonight I'm going to stream again during the nightlife. And uh, we're just, this is just a chill thing right now. Although there's going to come a point, Sky the Chat has a point, I'm going to run out of good countries eventually. Eventually I'm going to have gone everywhere in the world and there's not going to be anywhere else to go. I mean, we could always just revisit places, I suppose, but when I run out of countries in the world, then what? Because you can only revisit a place so many times. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to figure it out when that happens. The world ain't really ain't that big, to be honest. Like, when it comes to airplanes and trains and shit, like, the world really ain't that big. Like, you could probably go to every country in the world within, like, a year. Any solutions for the rest of the trip? Yeah, I mean, we'll, there'll be plenty. Stream really late, so it'll be early in the U.S. ice. Well, I'll probably start my stream at like 8 o'clock. Uh, 8 or 9 o'clock at night. And then, obviously, that'll be really early for the U.S. and Europe. So you might be able to catch it if you live in uh, the U.S. and Europe tonight. Go to Israel, you effing Jew. I mean, hey. Probably will end up in Israel one day. I do want to see it for sure. Just got to be careful of going to Palestine. Europe has had mud rivers. Europe has had mud rivers going into it for years. Also, southern United States. Uh, well, I don't know what a mud river is. I just know what a mud, like, I guess it's like a, it's just like a river with mud. I mean, I guess it's not that exciting, but, I mean, fuck it, dude. The world is really large. Mike, the world's really not that large, homie. Thanks for the three years of free content first dono. Yo, thank you, dude. I appreciate that, uh, Lollies. Thank you very much, dude. Or, Marcus, thank you very much. And Lollies, thank you as well. Um. Three years versus done free content. That's what I'm saying, dude. Um, thirty-six thousand miles is how this is, is the circumference of the world. You can go thirty-six thousand miles in one day with a rocket ship if you're like traveling through space. That's really not that big, dude. You could like, dude. The ISS travels around the world like six times a day. 
You know what I mean? So I say like in 20 years from now, we're probably going to have fucking space travel. Not like to Mars or mo the moon and shit. But I'm saying like in 20 years, 30 years, there's probably going to be like uh, rockets that, you know, you can buy a ticket for and they go into the, the higher atmosphere and then you can travel. It's like an airplane, but you travel across the world in a rocket so you can get there quicker. You know what I mean? Like some, some company is going to figure out how to do that very cheaply, very inexpensively. And they're going to sell tickets to the general public to travel, uh, at like 80,000 altitude or 120,000 altitude, which means you can get across the world in like three hours. Um, come stream at Japan and Epcot when you eventually move to Florida. I do IRL at Walt Disney World and we'll show you how to avoid lines. Smiley face. Well, that would be nice, but, uh, hey, thank you, Spokes, man. I appreciate that. I would love to know how to avoid lines. That'd be sick. I'm not talking about flat earth shit. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about, it's like, yeah, like Elon Musk shit, dude. You like, some company is going to build a fucking, they already have that. They have the, the, if you have ever researched the Concorde, they had this fucking, like, uh, th this plane that went supersonic speeds. You buy a ticket. Available to the general public. Drive from United States to South America. Once you reach Panama, though, you will have to ship your car over an area of land that is too moist to drive. It has been done before with the epic content. I got you, Colin. You got that. Uh, this, on, the, on the Concord, bro. Maybe it was like an hour and a half or something. New York to London. Hour and a half. Uh, I don't want to drive from the U.S. to South America. I mean, I could actually. Something that, that I need in my That's life. a long-ass drive, though. That's a long drive, homie. Uh, so give something, let me see, I got you because you got that something that I need in my life, so give it to me. What do you So saying? give it to me. What are you saying, Ricardo? Why did you donate like three different times, homie? <laughs> yeah, I still need to go to Canada. Toronto is on the list, Elizabeth. Don't worry. When will you come to Toronto, Canada? Um, I don't know, but uh, soon, I suppose. Yeah, no, but uh, I, I, I really, uh, dude, I really wish I was born 50 years in the future or like 100 years in the future because imagine streaming to, in, on different planets. Like you travel everywhere on a planet and now you can go to another planet and do it all again, but you're on another civilized fucking developed planet now. That would just be fucking amazing, to be honest. Uh, like, the, like I said, the earth is too small. Go to India. You can do the backstroke through the river of feces they have flowing down the streets there. Just kidding, homie. Never go to India. It's AIDS. What do you mean it's AIDS, dude? How the fuck is it AIDS? What the hell's wrong with India, dude? Uh, someone talking about me on Twitter. What are you saying? Dude, I don't... <laughs> go to a hostess club. Uh, what's a hostess club? Like, uh, in Japan? Uh, let me see. Let me look that up. Hostess club, huh? It's some kind of, like, anime club or something? Okay. I mean, I'll be down for that. Thank you very much, homie. Um, I do want to go to India, though. I do want to become a Buddhist monk. Whether you believe that or not, I've always wanted to try Buddhist monk. Uh, monkanism. So basically, I go to India, I go to where the Buddhist monks are, they teach me how to be a fucking monk, I shave my head, I do fucking meditation and monk shit, and then, uh, you know, I'm like, I lock myself in a cave for like two days, fucking meditate, I come out and I'm a fucking monk. I don't know, if that, that's not exactly how it goes, but I would just like to, if these, you know, these religious monks taught me their knowledge, dude. You know what I mean? It sounds like very pseudo and like very fake and like stupid, but I don't know. It's like interesting. And when I go back to America, I can be like, I learned how to be a Tibetan monk. Okay. Whether it's real shit or not, they, I learned it and I know how the, I know what the fuck they taught me. Um, you know, my favorite video game in the world was Uncharted, uh, the whole, the series of Uncharted. So I've always wanted to do the things that shout out Arden Narbra on Discord CX. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. See, what's up, Narbra? Um, 
You still need to do a Sherman Compton and Crenshaw. Dude, there's nothing to do in Compton and Crenshaw. You won't last. You have no patience. You know, believe it or not, I've actually meditated before. I know how to meditate, homie. Um, well, I mean, you just think and, like, relax and stuff. But, obviously, the Tibetan monks will, you know, teach me something far greater than that. So, I would like to uh, try that. I don't know if I stream that but or if it would be interesting. But, you know, it would be a good experience for me, I feel. Which would be nice. Yo, Pope Gaming, I'm going outside during the, the nightlife here. Um, not right now. What drugs am I on today? Unfortunately, none. Because there's no fucking drugs in Japan. There's no drugs in Japan. This sucks. Like, I don't do drugs, homie, but like, motherfucker. Like, they don't got no weed. They don't got nothing, homie. Like, I can't even get, like, Benadryl, dude. I went to the store to look for fucking Benadryl. Like, an ibuprofen. They didn't even have that shit. I'm just like, wow. They have, like, all this natural herbal shit. I'm just like... I'm like at 7-Eleven, I'm like, what the fuck is this? This isn't going to help my headache. This isn't going to make me feel any better. What the fuck is this herbal shit going to do? And then I tried it and it didn't do anything. I'm like, well, rip me. So uh, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, there's no weed here. It sucks. It's the worst thing in the fucking world, honestly. I mean, it's not bad. Like, I don't really care, but I mean, it's not, it, it is what it is, I suppose. Toronto does have tons of weed. I mean, you're right about that. Toronto is, uh, well, Canada is a very weed-friendly country, so I don't know. You got to find the right people. Yeah, but it's not really worth it. If I get caught with weed in Japan, I'm going to jail for a very long time, and I'm getting my ass deported So and banned. So I don't want to be banned from Japan. That sucks. Like, they don't even have jewels here or fucking vapes with nicotine or anything, dude. This is a very clean place, which is fine, uh, besides the cigarettes and, and beer, obviously, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's, I mean, there is weed here, but I just don't have access to it, nor do I really want to try to get weed, so. Go to Antarctica or Greenland. Yeah, I almost went to Greenland one time, but the plane ticket was like eight hours and $2,000, and then I had to, I literally, you, you are stuck in Greenland for three days, because the, there's a plane that flies to Greenland once every three days from Denmark. And that's the only, you have to go to Denmark to get to Greenland. And it's really like, it's hard to go, it's hard to get to Greenland. And then when you're there, you're stuck there for like at least three days, um, which is fucking stupid. But I do want to go there one day. It is uh, on my bucket list because it's quite an interesting country. Antarctica as well. They only have cruise ships to go to Antarctica and they're like fucking $10,000 per ticket. So I'm just like, well, probably never going to go to Antarctica, but that would be nice one day. You can get killed for weed in Japan. You think the police would actually kill you? I don't think they would do that. It seems a little bit over the top. For the most part. Fine, Yakuza. Well, to be honest, if we go to the red light district tonight, we there is a possibility Yakuza are found. Not that I want to find them. Let me see. You just sit in a hotel. This is trash. Yes, yes. Follow me on Twitter so you understand... What why I'm sitting in the hotel right now, yes. 100%. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Let me see. You should go to India. That would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, India will be good. All right, well, listen, I just wanted to give you an update on stuff. I just wanted to uh, come on and say what's up. Tonight, probably 8 or 9 o'clock, Japanese time, we will be back on. Nightlife stream. If I can come back then, that would be sick. Check it out then. Tomorrow, probably go to some countryside shit outside of Tokyo, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not leaking where I am. Fuck no. So, come back in a couple hours. I'll see you guys. Nightlife. It'll be early as fucking EU. Really late in America. It's Friday night, so just fucking stay up. Or fuck it, dude. Just watch the video. But, alright, I'll see you guys in a couple hours, alright? So I'm probably just gonna sit in this hotel and eat ramen or something until then. And conserve my energy. Alright, thank you, dudes. See you later. See you in a couple hours. Nightlife time.